Hey everybody, I'm Hank B. This is Josh T. And we are our two cents media. Sense media. So again, we're trying to come out with these reviews a little bit faster. Um, we've decided to. We you stop that. Um, we decided to do uh, Last of Us. Uh, we're going to do episodes uh, one through eight, and then we're going to come back with an episode nine review. I personally have not seen it yet. Um, we tried to hook this up and do this yesterday, but some things kind of happened. Uh, but here we are with episode one through eight of The Last of Us, based on the PlayStation video game. So, how did you feel about the show, one through eight? It's been a while since I've played the game. Like, I played it on uh, the PS4. Well, when did that come out? Like 2015, 2016? Maybe 2014? I almost want to say like 2012. Feels like it was a long time ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. But watching the movie really brought back a lot of scenes to my memory of like the the, the game. Like like the scenes of in the car. Like I remembered a lot of that. I mean, it wasn't perfect, you know, movie and game, but it was very similar. It was damn just close. Yeah. And they... I'm going to I'm going to say like they they matched the game quite well to the show and it's probably the most impressive show that I've watched that matches a game to a show unlike it will be interesting to see what Fallout does just to mention we will be doing that one as well but it will be interesting to see how Fallout falls yeah. follows the last of us as composed to what like Resident Evil which I'm sure you were about to bring up did on theirs <laughs> No, they they did they 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 messed up the movies. They messed up their shows. Their show is terrible. Like I, I'm I'm not even gonna get into a review about that. It's just zero sense. We were supposed to, but uh, things fell through. But anymore. anyways, let's get back to yeah. Let's get back to the Last of Us. Um, Here it is. And we Quick will review. do that Resident Evil sense. review at some point. Um, <laughs> but okay, so la I agree with you on Last of Us. I mean, like most of the things I've I've watched on it, I'm like, man, this is pretty pretty close or it's close enough like you understand the adaptation of what they're doing like why they had to make the changes uh to how they do stuff especially if you watch the after credits little behind the scenes stuff which i did did you watch those i've watched most of them not all of them Okay, but it was nice to like you know you find out like tidbits about it. You found out why they differed from the spore cloud, which like you know that's something that was in the game, but it's not in the show. But it made sense in a game, not in a show. So and since they have the creator involved, it's really cool that he can make like changes and they can make stuff that still fits in the world and works with what was made because the people that made it are there. Yeah, and. I mean, we make videos and stuff, too. It's like you have all these awesome ideas in mind and how we to to capture it. But when you get to it, sometimes it's just not possible to get that perfect shot or perfect moment or whatever. So you got to kind of add a little bit to it. So, I mean, I feel oh, they've done an done excellent job capturing as much as they possibly could, like, from the game. I've watched so several... I've watched several YouTube videos of someone comparing like the game to the movie and okay. super close on the references, super close. I mean, the wording's yeah. slightly different. Of course, the, the background scenes and stuff slightly different, but the way they portray yeah. it matches near perfect. So, okay, so that's the show. Now, how do you feel about the casting that they did? And I'm, I'm not talking about like every minor character let's talk about like just some of the main characters you know i'm talking about joel ellie like uh some of the firefly the firefly leader i think her name was marlene and then like some of the other characters i have no complaints against the casting i mean when i when i first saw ellie i was like that doesn't look anything like the the ellie from the game but, like, seeing right. her personality and, like, the way that she talks and her mannerisms and stuff, it's like, okay, <laughs> this, this old girl's Ellie. <laughs> I guess they've, yeah, they've I... casted over 100 Ellies, and she came out on top. I will say that I agree with you. Of all the characters, she's the one that, like, less looks like when you, when you see the character. You're kind of like, that's not quite it. But then, like, her personality 
really brings Ellie to life. Like, she really captured the Ellie character as opposed yeah. to the Ellie look. Um, whereas, you know, you got uh, Pedro Pascal, I'm like, he's Joel. Like, I could not picture anybody else being Joel. <laughs> Um, I, I mean, when, like, I, when I first knew the show was coming out and Pedro Pascal was playing Joel, I was like, mm-hmm. "Man, this guy is just getting all the good roles," and I, I, I just like him that much. He's like a Henry Cavill of yeah the the show genre. And like, yeah, Henry I mean, Cavill I agree. You got Henry and, Cavill, and then you got Pascal, right? Like, dude. Yeah. But yeah, and the, the problem is they both bring good acting to the roles henry cavell is the witcher it's like even though we're gonna have a switch it's hard to see anybody else playing that part just like it would be hard to see anybody else playing joel at this time yeah yeah so So, casting i think is really good one interesting tidbit for people who didn't watch the um extra stuff after the credits is that, and I thought this was pretty cool, was the lady that plays the Firefly leader, Marlene, I believe is her name. Mm-hmm. Um, is that correct? Yep. Okay. That's actually the voice actors from the video game. Oh, that's cool. That played Marlene. So I, I always thought that was cool that they were able to, you know, here's Mark. Because I was like, man, that's, you know, I watched the after scene and then I actually looked it up. Yeah, she was the voice actress for Marlene and she got to come in and play Marlene. So, you know, that's really awesome right there. So, yeah, um, it's tidbits like that that really and like some staying true to the elements that really uh, bring the episode, uh, bring the show out. Now, we're not talking about episode nine yet. But I've heard they're doing a second season. Have you heard that as well? Yeah, I've heard they're doing a second season, and then they might not cast the same Ellie. They might cast a different, more older version of Ellie. Okay. Um, did you? So play they're the going to Game of Thrones game? Ellie. Yeah. Um, I started playing the second game, and I got to a certain scene that a lot of people have an issue with, and um, and I never went beyond that point. Um, I don't know how much we want to spoil that scene here. Although, it, most people have either played the game or know the scene. It's the scene with Joel in the freaking uh, in the uh, c- cabin when he gets jumped. Um, Joel was one of my favorite characters, and just to see that happen, it was kind of like, meh, meh. Don't want to yeah. play anymore. And I just stopped, I stopped playing because of what happened. Because it's like, um, you, you got invested with these characters in the first game. And mm-hmm. it was like I was returning to play both of those characters, and that, that was just shot to shit. Yep. Did you play yeah, the second I, one? I did not. I heard that Joel died, and I said, nope, not playing it. Yeah. That's exactly when I stopped. So, we're going to wrap this up with giving it our scores. Um, actually, we talked earlier about just doing a score overall, but um, let's, let's uh, do a score for the show. And then when we come back, we'll give an, uh, when we do the second part, which is the episode nine, we'll give uh, an updated version of our score. So for episode one through eight, where do you rate it on the cento meter? I'm giving it a 9.5. Like it is impressive. And the reason why a 9.5 is because of the lack of enemies. Well, not, not people like like there there's human enemies of course that are not infected but i mean like the infected the the mushroom clickers and stuff like yeah there's hordes of them that pop out and there's like one or two here and there but like in the game you're running across them all the time and there's i, I just felt it was lacking that is it is it more people screwing over people fair um i'm actually going to rate it a nine um, again, I, I love many aspects of the show. I like what they've, they've done. They really brought in extra stories that you didn't get to really see in the play, but you, uh, in the game, but you saw hints of, but, uh, whilst I agree with your statement there, um, there's, there's certain aspects of the story that I wish could have been done different and could have, I felt been done different, uh, to bring out maybe a different aspect of it, maybe do it better, uh, maybe tell a little bit of a different story instead of having the same story that's been told before in certain parts. And I'll clarify that more because I feel like this uh, this review or us talking about the show deserves a longer 
talk, which will come up in a Last of Us ramble, which we'll do at the end of the uh, season. Uh, ramble is another thing we're talking about doing soon, so check that out when we start doing it. It's basically us just going to no freaking point. We're just going to start talking and let her, let her rip. Um, let her rip. Yeah, that's what we think. So that's my two cents. That's his two cents, and we'd love to hear your two cents. Do you have anything else to add at this time, Josh? No. I think uh, on to episode nine tomorrow or the next day or yes. the day after, a week after, a year after. I will be after. watching it tomorrow when I get off of work, and we can we will be putting up the review probably around midnight tomorrow night. Sick, dude. Yeah. 